My name is Leroy Span, and I'm 16 years old. My personality, a few words, is very crazy. I'm funny. Um, I can get really goofy sometimes. I'm talkative if like the, the conversation is interesting. I like fashion. I'm a musical type person. Like I just I listen to all type of music. I run track, play baseball and football. Like your education and justice story, like what happened in your case that you feel comfortable sharing? Like how did you feel and like basically what would you rather have happened? I was expelled from school. Some friends they decided to drink. All three of us got expelled besides the girl that actually brought the stuff. I felt like that was unfair because all three of the other people, me, I was colored, and my other two friends was colored, and she was Caucasian, and but she bought the alcohol, yeah. and she didn't get expelled. She still goes to school to this day. They pulled me out of Spanish class, brought me to the office, and like, okay, okay, we know you brought alcohol, this, that, and the third. So, they checked my book bag, they didn't find anything. But when they checked her book bag, they found the alcohol bottles, all of that, but they still let her stay. They didn't give me like an actual sit down meeting. They just sent me home and gave us like eight o'clock that night. The headmaster sent us an email saying I was expelled. I couldn't return on the premises no more. When it first happened, my mother, she, she got the call. She was fresh out of surgery. She got surgery on her rotator cup. That afternoon, um, she just got up. She just literally walked out the surgery door. She was still on medication when they called her like 10 minutes. I could tell she was mad at me, but she didn't want to express it because she knew I was mad with myself. I was disappointed in myself. Leroy, this was your chance to get out of Savannah and do something great because I hate this place. There's nothing for me here. It's just bad things and nothing ever comes out of nothing. Like we can't have, can't do nothing in Savannah without a shooting or a fight. And I don't want to be around that environment. So I was pretty devastated. My mom was pretty devastated. I went to the alternative school, and then I ended up sitting down with my counselor. She was like, Leroy, you can graduate at 16. I was like, what? I was happy, that, that motivated me. I'm like, okay, I can bounce back from this. I can graduate, move on, go to school. Now all I have left is five classes, and I graduated in May. Like, I personally seen somebody get arrested in the middle of block switching, like the bell ring, and everybody's in the hallway. And we just see him walking through the middle of the hallway getting arrested, like walking out in handcuffs. I feel like it's to send a message like, okay, we're not playing with y'all. We're in 2023, we all have phones. You're going to be on social media by 2.30 if it happened at one. It follows them for the rest of their life. Some people can commit suicide off of that. Some people might just shut down and never open up again. It can really damage a person in multiple ways, like significantly.